Okay, so here we have a problem. We're given the integral from 0 to 5 of f of x dx is equal to 12, and the integral from 5 to 7 of f of x dx is equal to 4. And we want to first evaluate the integral from 0 to 7 of f of x dx. So that spans all the way from 0 to 5, and then also 5 to 7. So we can split this up into two integrals. That would be first from 0 to 5, since we have information about that f of x dx, and then add on from 5 to 7, oops, 5 to 7 of f of x dx. So now we know from 0 to 5 is equal to 12, and from 5 to 7 is equal to 4. So we'll substitute those in and add them up, and we get 16 for our final answer. For the second part, for part b, our integral is, instead of being from 0 to 5, it's from 5 to 0. So what we can do here is, if we want to flip our integral limits, we can make our integral negative. So we can flip it over 0 to 5 of f of x dx. And so since from 0 to 5 of f of x dx is 12, we would just bring down a negative and we get negative 12 for part b. For part c, we're going, we're doing the integral from 5 to 5. So anytime these two numbers on the integral are the same, that's always equal to 0. And for part d, we just have a coefficient, so we can bring our coefficient through to integral from 0 to 5 of f of x dx. And 0 to 5 is equal to 12, so this would be 2 times 12, which is equal to 24. And that would be our final answer.